Hello, right, I'm going to do you a lovely review now on a Rebetta Apollo. Now the angle for me on this one is obviously if you follow our channel, we've got an SNL Apollo, so the name drew me in. I must say we're at the NEC show in February and great thanks to Surrey Camper Vans for allowing us access to this vehicle. It's a 6.36 metre van and it doesn't necessarily have to come with a pop top. They do all variations on this as a two berth, a four berth. It's got four traveling seats, but it can also have just two traveling seats. They still call it the Apollo, but there's so many different variations on it. Now this one's obviously the four berth with the pop top roof in it. But as I say on the website, it will show you all different variations of this van. I just think it looks really nice. It's also nice to see a van that isn't in your generic colors that we get in the UK at the moment. This one being a nice silver one. Right, I can show you some of the options that you can do with this Apollo. They have three different styles of bathroom that you can pick. So you've got your standard one with a bench toilet and a glass bowl for your sink. You've got this one here which has a fold out sink to cover the toilet up. Again a bench toilet and that makes a sort of protected shower room. You've seen them type of things before. This one's the same but it has a composting toilet. So yeah it is a very much bespoke van. I'm not going to lie, looking at that price list, they're not cheap, but is anything that's bespoke. There's also an option with this van to replace all the wooden uh, units inside with a composite that reduces the weight by up to 200 kilos, so increases your payload. I'm hoping I can show you that actually. This is the fabrics. For the inside the guy apparently according to heather yesterday had a box oh here we go that's your wood and that's your composite now you can't you can't obviously see this on camera but they look very similar i mean i'm picking that up and you can see it i don't know if you can see it's it's like laminated and you can sort of see the composite material inside whereas this is wood now for the benefit of TV you can't tell but the weight difference in that box to that box is massive really so you can certainly see how they can save the weight right so looking at the price list I'm gonna put this on screen so you can see it's an eye-watering amount at the end with all the options look at that 104,809 plus I'm guessing 3,800 documentation and, and transportation but obviously the base fan is your standard 60 grand but yeah these bespoke vans do not come cheap but I'm hoping when I get a look inside it it definitely looks like it's worth the money. Surrey camper vans are the only UK distributor however there is worldwide distribution should you be watching this in another country. As I say it's very much bespoke it's quite a high-end camper van. This one we're in at the moment is a four berth with a front dinette it's got a pop top roof but you can have it as just a standard two berth so where I'm sitting now you'd have an extra wardrobe. So I'm going to give you a quick look around this van um, and show you the build quality is amazing but the price reflects that. Right so as you can see we're sitting in the van now um, showing you the driving positions. It's a left hand drive because of the company are based in Europe um, and obviously they drive on the opposite side of the road to us in the UK but like I say we can specify it in UK spec obviously. This van is a Opel Movano or a Vauxhall Movano in the UK which is obviously the same as the Fiat and the Peugeot that we see in the UK and indeed the Citroen. The van is available on the Opel, the Fiat or the Citroen platform. So you've got your standard cab and the lovely seats they are really really plush. And obviously we have got your upstairs bedroom um, which you can specify or not specify as I say there's your front dinette um, access below to all your electrics and such like and obviously I'd imagine this table yes does remove You have got your storage there. These are very light. This must be the composite version that I spoke about or I'm going to speak about depending on which way I film this. I've already filmed the outside while we were waiting for the guys to come. 
um, but to reprise you can have this in a composite material or a wood material for weight saving. You can see being a continental van they don't go big for cookers. Right so as I was saying there isn't an oven a lot of continental vans are like that. You have got a two burner hob and a little sink there and I guess it's it's one of them vans isn't it that if you're just using it as a base and you're planning to live outside as your living area which is absolutely fine you know used to doing that with my years of Volkswagen ownership it's a great thing but I always look at these vans any vans really and say what would you do and this is a vital piece of information I'll always pass on to people what would you do if it was raining and you would got two kids and my answer would be tear your hair out and I haven't got much of that left this is me Rod sorry camper van so yeah the the bed here is really straightforward so a couple of buttons there one button there literally just swing that forward same on that side and that's it that's pretty good and the action is really nice oh, and, and then you've got the clip just to yeah to it. join them together yeah. and then putting it back is just a case of that um, and then that's it. so while you're there then what's the storage like under there to save me so lifting storage it. is great um, you've got two huge great big drawers oh okay the uh, drawers yeah um, and this one as well yeah same thing there. same thing there yeah we've got uh, open access here with a great big table that oh okay slots into there. these are all removable so if you wanted to use that for bikes or whatever or people with those, long legs people with long legs all those panels come out okay um, and then obviously this lifts up and then you've got the storage for the gas cylinder, you've got a big cupboard here as well. Oh, right. I'll come round the back and have a look at that. So it's onboard gas, is it? There's no gas tank underneath on this one. Onboard gas tank. So uh, no, oh, that's, where do you put the gas then? In here. So in there, there's a massive, great big right. cylinder. Right. I'll have a look at that from the back. Yeah. Yeah, I think my issue, obviously, being so tall, is the step up there is quite. And then you've got the lovely fly I screen noticed, on. I noticed the price um, in the price list, the, um, the rear. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. That a lot of these fans well, are coming with these. Just now. sit there, have a glass of wine. Yeah, with those doors open. Agreed. Because um, a lot of people ask for windows in the sides, but forget that that's the one area where you're <coughs> going to get, you know, air. Yeah. Uh, and, and the cold in your on your head or your correct. Yeah. Lying down. So we prefer to just have this nicely upholstered. Yeah. It's a nice comfy space. So if the weather's really really pants shut the doors and you're nicely cocooned yeah but it's nice and big and airy but yeah if it is a nice summer's evening then put that down you can even swing those right out yeah and then that's a fantastic yeah space to be agreed i have to also point out the pitfalls for my subscribers when you're so tall like me you do feel a little hemmed in this is just purely not a criticism i'm too tall for anything even our van but like I say, I do like the fact that you can remove these, should you need to, to, to dangle your legs a bit. Although sitting, it's absolutely fine. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here like the guy says, having my nice drink with the doors open and, and stand up, aren't I? <laughs> no, can you stand up there and see if you can? If you have... Oh, yeah. Look at that. See, look just at that. Look. Look at that. I can just about stand up. The guy's going to hold. I can stand up in here. So you, you have got your head right on the... Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm... <laughs> but yeah, it was meant for you. It was meant for me, if only, yeah. It, right moving back it's going to be a bit of a haphazard review but it was nice so the storage cupboards are very very thin um, again not a criticism because you don't feel as hemmed in when you're not boxed in but what i would say is if you think about this van for your own practicality if you've got this as a four berth so you're carrying two kids with you and you're using the bed up above storage options for clothes are not massive I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, big anything up but I'm not gonna slag it off either it's a great van it's really really well well stuck together there is no doubt about it um, and there are little pockets of well use useful storage but the um, yeah the downside is where would you store all your clothes and food and everything if you're a large family there's obviously a bit of kitchen storage there and a funky 
cupboard there I've seen on the website sometimes this is a drinks holder again they are very bespoke vans you can you can pretty much design a lot of it um, it's got quite a small pull out fridge but again a lot of this can be altered and changed it really does depend there's a lot of kitchen storage you'd be okay with your food and stuff like that but I do think clothing storage is an issue and you know where are you gonna put all your chairs and stuff like that yeah you've got storage under there but big items could be an issue I think so as I've said I think I said on the other bit of video that I did there are three different versions of the bathroom there's a bench toilet there's a composting toilet and then there's different variations on sinks and then I'm not even going to mess with this but they do do a swing out sink that gives you more shower room and it's a nice it's a nice size Tambador always wins with me and it's oh it's not well it is a Tambador but it's like a buy a buy Tambador lot that's interesting I like that and what do you think of this then guys for me I'll um, happily stick with my Apollo but it's a nice enough fan I think Heather would agree the pinch point there is very very tight um, getting in and out of that I, I can't really show you but you can, you can see for yourself how tight that is it's always the way when you've got a dinette I would like to see the two berth version if I'm honest and I will try and throw some pictures in off the brochure to show you that but what I will say is for the variation that I'm seeing here this isn't suitable for me but it might be suitable for you but what I can reassure you with is the workmanship the craftsmanship is absolutely A1 it's a really really nicely built van and I do like the idea of this composite wood to save the weight yeah it's a winner from me if you're into this type of stuff certainly a nice van let me know what you think in the comments right so we're just showing you the rear view now where obviously Heather and the guy I think his name was Rod wasn't it I've no idea what that little one's for unless oh, it could be for turning your gas on maybe you put your hand in there who knows he says the gas canister goes in here somewhere I can't lift that but he did say there's a big massive access to a gas canister down there so I don't quite know how that works maybe I'll call him back to show me the access there for your table and obviously with your force floor down you can store stuff under there but I'm calling the fact that I wouldn't want that floor down all the time I don't think I could live with that can you just show me this where the gas thing I can't open this door while I, whatever you were doing oh the gas well, yeah so the gas cylinder actually right here we go Gas cylinder is actually in this. Ah, so this is like I say, you're putting your hand in and doing the regulator. Yeah, basically. I did so wonder that. You can, um, yeah, you can, you can isolate the gas. Yeah, you've got. A, there, but yeah. Yeah, so the that's tunnel. You'd be. Yes, yes, I've got you. I did wonder, but yeah, that's okay. Cool. Nice thing with all these as well. Every single cabinet has, has got sound deadening on it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah it's so also even the smallest. I actually said clothes. when I did the it's intro no it's the composite idea that I like yes. as well the weight saving of the composite which yeah. is a really good idea yes as I say it's it's a really really well built van yeah it's, it's really nice it is a nice van I would have loved to have seen the two berth version there we go then that was my quick look round the Rebetta Apollo let me know if you enjoyed that as I say lovely built van I would have loved to have seen the two berth variation but hopefully I've been able to stick some pictures in and give you a rough idea of it. See what you think. Let me know in the comments. Ta-da.